Master Darks. Now before we don't just stack them straight away, we need to calibrate them first to remove the bias signal. So we use uh, image calibration. And what we do is we add our dark files. We select an output directory because it's going to create new files. So we don't want to overwrite the originals. Now this is where it's apparent why I made these other folders. Cal for calibration. So we'll just select that. We don't have the master dark. We don't have the master flat yet. But we do have our master bias or our super bias. So we can add that in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just run this. That's all the uh, options you need to change. We just apply it and let it run. And what's it's doing? It's subtracting the uh, bias from the dark. So we're left with just dark current and no bias. So with the calibration done, we can then return to image integration. And we'll clear those files, we'll add them again. And then if we go to our dark folder, we have our calibrated. Now there's double lot in here because I have actually done this once. So that's why there's a file extension different. So now we would just add our frames. So because these are duplicated, I'm just gonna uh, do this quickly. Nine, I should have deleted the files before I did it. So anyway, we'll select them. Same set, uh, settings as before for the super bias. And we run it. And now it's stacking our calibrated dark frames. So this will just go through and do the integration, which will then create us a master dark bias free. So hopefully it shouldn't take too long to do. He says, <laughs> obviously the faster your computer, the faster this will be. Definitely get RAM, more RAM, faster to you. Good. Okay, so uh, rejection high, rejection low. We can minimize integration because we're going to use it again later anyway. So and then we can look at it and now is our master dark with bias removed. So this is just what was is dark current. And I do have this strange weird line here. I'm not really sure. Doesn't seem to go all the way up the sensor. Don't know, but doesn't matter. So that's now our master dark. So we're gonna rename this master dark. Then we're gonna save it as master dark. Save, yes. Okay, so now we have our bias and dark masters. Our next step, flat frames.